Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Uh, this will be part five of our Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio tutorial set. Uh, this uh, session will be working with uh, creating tables with script. Um, we're going to get started by, I'm going to show you what uh, Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio does when you uh, display the code behind the tables that you've created. Um, what you're going to see <clears throat> is that it's a little bit confusing. Um, there's also an error there that we're not sure of, uh, and it kind of looks a little disorganized. Now, it's machine language -y, let's call it, you know, the machine would know what, it's, what it says. But uh, it, uh, you know, with all the brackets and everything, it gets a little bit hard to follow. So what we're going to do is work on our own create table script. Uh, what I have done is uh, to sort of make my life simple is I've created some code snippets here that allow me to quickly create the basics of my uh, of my. Uh, scripts, so especially for the code, the create tables. Uh, in this case, we're going to be creating uh, a table called email addresses. So, um, as I start typing here, you'll notice that uh, as it, it, once I press out of it, I, I tab out of this, it'll automatically fill in a couple things for me. So I'm going to just call this email addresses. You notice I've got this three S's. I'm not going to worry about the ES uh, at the end. Uh, eh, what the heck? Let's put that in. We'll do it. Okay. So now that I've, uh, I've got my basic table, I've, add, I've, I've added into my script. I've added in the uh, create and edit dates. And they're already there by default, which is kind of nice. <clears throat> now, I am going to put in a couple fields here. So for an email address, we need to know the URI for our uh, file or our email. And uh, it will not be null because if we add in a null email address, that really doesn't make any sense. Um, but we also you know, can't have... Uh, know empty I guess but um, I guess we suppose we, we probably could but it shouldn't be that way anyway but um, we'll do it like this home at home dot com so the default for our email address will be always home at home dot com it's not correct but it is what it is uh, the other thing that we have to do is relate this to a student. So we did this uh, as well in uh, the addresses table. So here, uh, this is also not null. Okay, so this uh, address or this uh, student ID relates to the student ID in this table right here. Right, same as we had before. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to uh, create our table right now. And we do that by just simply clicking the Execute button. OK. So over here, if we refresh our table, we have, uh, we have our new table sitting there. If I go into Design View, all right, we should be able to see everything looks, should look the, the, the way it's supposed to be. Uh, we have our defaults for create and edit date. Uh, we have our uh, NVAR char 255 characters for our URI for uh, the email address. We have a student ID uh, as well. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to alter our email address table. Okay. And I've also created a snippet here for uh, adding a foreign key. Okay, our foreign key is essentially uh, that's our that's also called the relationships, right? That we set up in the last tutorial. Uh, we are going to alter 
our email addresses table. Okay. And uh, we're going to change. Uh, we're going to alter that to students. Okay. And this will be uh, the column that it's related to is students, student ID. Okay. And it is also student ID from students. Okay. Now, if I run this, oops. okay, we should have uh, a relationship created now, and we'll see that by if I uh, look over into that create to window again, I'll see a constraint over here, which is right here. There's our relationship. And if I um, go into design view, I should also be able to see a relationship, which is right here. Okay. And that's it. That's how we create a table with script in Microsoft SQL Man Server Management Studio. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and share, and we'll catch you in the next tutorial.